Welcome everybody to another sit back gaming. Whoa! So, today's game is Kota Dama The Seven Mysteries of Fujisawa. I hope I said that right. That rhymes too if I said it right. That's cool. <laughs> so, uh, this is actually a visual novel, I think. I was browsing around the eShop, looking at games, little little ones that I can see what see what I can find, you know. And lo and behold, I found Kotadama, and it piqued my interest because of a certain game mechanic I saw. But hopefully, hopefully we'll see what this game is about. Uh, let's start new game. I don't oh. June 1st. Oh. Stairs. I love stairs. Which way did I come from again? Oh, do I, do I choose that? Okay. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> I'm put in a position. Do I voice these people or do I just let the Japanese? I think I have to say it out loud. Wait, are you lost? I nod at the blue fox on my shoulder. <laughs> God, go faster! But not before looking around to make sure nobody's watching. So I want to know if you guys would be interested in these because this is this is the first. I I only played four visual novels in my life. I'm gonna wait till they just talk. Which ones? Class 3 looks like a penis? Don't ask me. This is why you should have just waited, genius. <laughs> Whose bright idea was it to just walk around for a bit? You want me to do something with my powers? Look, I'm a demon, not a miracle worker. Oh, help me, Monchan. You're my only hope. Really? Who the fuck is this cat? <laughs> I just was looking at stairs! What? You're supposed to expect me to already- Okay. Dot dot dot- Oh, he didn't even speak. Look, is that a mouth? Is that mouth just for show? Instead of flattering me, how about you just ask someone for help? You don't want to be late on your first day, do you? Bitch. Okay. Okay, so, oh, <laughs> okay, so long story short, I signed a contract with a demon, and by, de by demon, I mean this cute little blue fox thing. Apparently, her real form is gorgeous, but I've never seen it myself. Oh, so, okay, so it's a girl, I'm sorry. Normal, okay, normally nobody, nobody else can see Monchan unless she materializes. Convenient. But if anyone were to see me talking to her, they think I'm crazy. When I try looking for someone, anyone who can help, I hear a frantic pitter-patter of feet rushing my way, coming across those staircases, falling down, broke their neck. Oh no, it's a girl. <laughs> Ew! <laughs> hey there, over here! Oh, over there! Oh, are you talking to me? Well... I guess technically I am the only one here in this one picture and frame of a staircase that's... So, yes, you! Hang on! A female student approaches me. Whoa, she's sweating or she's spitting! Get away! <laughs> Contamination! Contamination! Did you hear a weird scream around here after class yesterday? There's a rumor going around about the curse of Mikoto. Oh boy, looks like we have a. We... What? Oh no! Oh no! It's... It wasn't translated so well. Looks like we have a live one. Live one. Oh no, it was translated well. I'm just dumb. Oh boy, looks like we have a live one here. Curse. Curse, huh? Now that's a pretty dangerous word just to throw around. Monchan sounds like she's having fun, but she's got a point. 
The girl keeps talking. Apparently, people heard a strange voice by the stairs to the roof. And well, the roof is a key location to the curse. So, if you know anything, please tell me. Is there a wind in this room? I shake my head, and the girl's shoulders droop dramatically. There's still wind in this room. Ugh, another dead end, huh? Thanks, anyways. Anyway. The girl trots away before I can even ask her for help. What on earth was all that about? I can only shrug. Suddenly, the bell rings. Looks like I've run out of time. You're late? Hurry up already. I hope my voices don't sound the same. I ain't no voice actor here. I start making a mad dash down the hallway. Crash into, <laughs> into the bucket. Fall out the window. A new CG has been added to the CG collection. Gah. Okay. Gah. I crashed into someone. This is why you don't run in the hallway. Yeah. <laughs> what the hell are you doing? Holy shit, they cussed! <laughs> Fuck! Oh, please. Don't run in the hallway like that. It's dangerous. Oh, aren't you? Thank goodness. I've been looking for you. I was worried since you weren't around when the bell rang. Sorry I paused there. I was making sure that the Japanese uh, vocals and what I was saying were at least on tone or they weren't getting, mixing and matching again. Um, <laughs> I don't want that to happen. I'm your homeroom teacher, Kaiori Mizuki. Okay, I think I said that right. Wow. I don't want to point this out, but there's a big... Uh, no. <laughs> Oh, whoa, look at this! <laughs> Running into my homeroom teacher was a blessing in disguise. I nod. A bunch of papers with names, notes, and numbers are scatter scattered all over the floor. I quickly apologize and run to help pick them up. Thank you. Don't worry about organizing them. Just stack them all up. I hand her the stack of papers and apologize for getting lost. <gasps> New animation! Well, Fujisawa Academy is a pretty big campus. Even the freshmen have, uh, have only just now gotten their bearings. They got bears! <laughs> Mizuki Sensei seems to have been lost in God. Oh, right, sorry. <laughs> oh, right, let's head to the classroom, shall we? I'm like preemptively thinking what they're gonna say, and it's totally wrong. We have a new friend who will be joining us starting today. Where did he go? He has a bucket on his head, and he crashed out the window. The whole class, the whole classroom is in an uproar. They're probably curious why I transfer so late in the semester. It's only obvious. <laughs> Now, I know you're all curious. Please keep it down. Okay, now, please introduce yourself. Oh, I didn't have a gender. I thought I was... Okay. Ooh. Ooh. I think I'm gonna stick with male, just because that's how I am. Uh, what is your name? Shihori Kanenagi. I think this is what they kind of want me to do, but we're gonna play with the de... Okay, I thought I messed up. We're gonna play around and play devil's advocate. Uh, God. Uh, my name is uh, Curie. <laughs> Curie. Curie. Can. <laughs> Kanagi. Kiri Kanagi. Wait, I think someone's name is Kiri. <laughs> uh oh. All right, we'll, we'll, we'll made it. We'll make. I got it. I got it. Kiri. Kiri. Kiri Kanagi. Wow! Yes, the best name you'll ever find. Gender male name Kiri Kanagi. 
yes. <laughs> Everyone, get, a, get along now, okay? Oh, you're not gonna say my name? I give a generic greeting, and soon enough, I find a familiar face. It's the crazy girl who said something about a curse or whatever. Why the fuck is there wind in this room? Someone... Do you guys see this? Like, her hair is like... It looks like it's moving in the wind. Like, it's perfectly positioned as if there's a fan on the other side of this screen. On the left. Like, on the left. And it's just blowing into her, her hair. Ah, it's you! Oh. Oh, do you know each other? Kagari-san. Yeah. We just met at the third floor stairwell. Well, that's just perfect. You can take the seat next to Ka 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 Kagari-san. <laughs> Must be destiny. I shoot Monchan a dirty look, but make sure not to look suspicious. With all eyes on me. Oh, that's a song. <laughs> I take the back window. See, as it's struck. Ahem. Well, once again, the name's Nanami. Oh, I hope I said that right. Nanami Kagura. Everyone calls me Nanami. Not Nami. Nanami. So you can call me that too. Nice to meet you. Nanami Kagura for Smash. Uh oh. Oh, right. Kagura-san, do you mind giving our new friend a campus tour? Our campus is quite big, so it's easy to get lost. Oh, so you were lost back there, huh? <laughs> you should have said so, silly. She's left me before I could say anything, but I'll keep that as a compliment. I'll keep that complaint to myself. Kagura-san, are you free after class for the tour? I sure am, and you can count on Nanami Kagura. Nanami sure is brimming with energy, but to be honest, all that Red Bull she's been drinking is giving her ex excess, excess confidence. It's kind of scary. Our classmates shoot furtive glances my way. I'm pretty sure I'm not just imagining the look of pity in their eyes. These fucks don't know that I'm hanging out with Nanami and the homeroom teacher. Oh, that's T. Tee hee! Thank you. Good luck, Kagura san. No problem. Kan. Kangi Kun. Oh, I forgot they say the last name first. Oh, perfect. I, I did it right. It's formal. So, I, it's right. It's formal. It's formally correct to say the last name than the first name, unless you're a friend or. Something. I know the formal way is last name, then later on first name. That's why in anime, when the, the guy says the girl's full name, it's like the biggest thing to them. I didn't understand that at first until I looked it up and I was like, oh, wow. Kennedy kun if anything comes up, feel free to talk with me, okay? Now then, class, I'm going to distri uh, distribute the career survey forms. So start thinking about your future goals. Okay, and also, spring safety exercises, uniform expect uh, expectations. I try my best to listen to Mizuki Sensei, but with one ear, but Nanami keeps whispering to me from the side. Oh, new frame. <laughs> Tilted a little. Hey, new kid. I'm sure that I'm sure you, uh, you sure transferred in at an odd time. Did your parents get relocated for work? Where do you live? Oh, the dormitory? Huh? Must be nice to live so close. Wow, I didn't even talk. It's, <laughs> it's a godsend. It's a godsend to, to Sleepyhead here. Lucky you. Getting to put into Kari... Uh, Kari... Uh, oh god, it's, butch it's butcher time. Kaiorin's class. Oh right, Kaiorin. Uh, Kaiorin. Kaiorin. I'm gonna say that Kaiorin. Kaiorin is ev is what everyone calls Mizuki Sensei. Are transfer students really that rare? Nanami keeps pestering me with these questions. Then she hits me across the side with her big old fan. That's <laughs> on one side. I'm sitting next to a chatterbox classmate. On the other. I got this snarky little fox demon trying to stuff in my bag. What's gonna last longer? I wonder. This class or my sanity? Fuck! I don't have patience at all. 
Ooh, I wonder if there's romance. I honestly would do some romance. With it being my first day, time flew by and classes were over before I knew it. Curious, are you? <laughs> oh, so she says my first name. So then I am wrong. Something's going up here. Can you tell me in the comments if I, uh, about this, the whole name and formal thing, please? Because I am interested. Kiri, are you ready? Then let's get going. Time for the campus tour. Ah! <laughs> I forgot about the math printouts. Sorry, can you hang on a sec? I'll be right back. Nanami dashes out of the classroom with the printouts in her hand. She sure is a bundle of energy, huh? How the fuck do you keep getting out of my back? They have the same... Oh no! They are drawn the same, it's just different looks. They have the same type of smile and eyes. No way. Why is everyone's eyes glittering? Huh? This face has a crack in it. Did some idiot knock it over? Hmm. Plot. I heard something or some... I heard something or another about a vape, and immediately afterward, I hear someone run down the hall and slam into the door. A door. Oh, that's a guy. Nanami, be careful, will you? Sorry, sorry. Sometimes I get a little ahead of myself and end up bumping into things. <laughs> oh no, the tongue! That's... You hear that? It's the perfect opportunity to practice your power, Kotodama. The power of words. Now remember what we we talked about. Relax. Open a rift in your target's mind. Then open it up like in Mortal Kombat. Use your mind to feel your way to the truth. Escalate their emotions through Kotodama. One technique I find useful is to visualize something. Imagine peeling. I thought that said imagine peeing layers. Imagine peeling layers like the lies falling away. Nanami just said she gets ahead of herself and bumps into things, right? Then wouldn't that make her a likely suspect for the base breaker? We're gonna put that bitch in prison. <laughs> this sounds like the perfect chance to test your powers. Power. Sorry for the wait. I interrogate Nanami once she gets back to the classroom. Oh my god, I got one option. Hey Nanami, that vase, it wasn't you. It, it was you, wasn't it? Huh? Now, use your power now. Show unto me thy true self. I open my mind to Nanami like Monchan instructed and visualize the lies falling away. Exposing the truth. Whoa! 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 What's going on here? And there's flames. It's loading. It's taking a while to load. Okay. It's really, it's really thinking this one out. It's really feeling its, its way. Nanami Kagura. What? Oh no! You know what? I think this is a perfect opportunity to get this on the next episode <laughs> so thank you for watching and have a good day everybody